Okay, welcome back to American Agenda. We're following another developing story that pertains to foreign policy. The European Union has agreed on a new 50 billion euro aid package for Ukraine during a war with Russia and despite a veto threat from Hungary. Okay, our next guest was the largest foreign investor in Russia until 2005 and is the author of the best-selling books about Russia, Freezing Order and Red Notice, Bill Browder. Bill, we thank you for coming on the show here. Let's dive right in. Uh, what do you make of this uh, aid package coming through here no, and what this is going to mean for the war? I, I think it's a, a total um, lifesaver for Ukraine. Um, before Christmas, um, Ukraine had basically run out of money to buy ammunition, to buy bullets, to buy bombs. And as a result, um, Russia was making big progress. Um, part of the reason that Ukraine was running out of these weapons was that um, foreign military aid wasn't flowing. Both uh, the EU's package, this package of uh, $50 billion, uh, plus the U.S. package had both, both been blocked by small groups that didn't want uh, Ukraine to get the money. Uh, this is a lot of money. This is money that was needed, and this is money that will help Ukraine push Russia back. And so this is really good news for Ukraine, bad news for Putin. Uh, and that's uh, good news for Ukraine, I think it is good news for a lot of people and hoping that this war will be on its way to an end. I do have a two-part question for you, though, Bill. Why is the EU providing this aid, but specifically why is Hungary's threatening, why is Hungary rather threatening a veto? How are they going to handle this, uh, again, as part of the EU? Well, so, so the way that the EU functions is that, that it's 27 member states and each member state has, has to agree to something. There has to be a unanimous decision to provide any kind of foreign policy aid or, or things like that. And so Hungary, which only makes up 2% of the population of the entire EU, um, the, the uh, um, prime minister of Hungary, uh, Viktor Orban, is a close friend of Putin. And so effectively, Hungary and Orban is like the uh, Putin's Trojan horse inside the EU. Even though it's a small country with a small population, it has an outsized weight. And so the um, other countries of the EU, the other 98 percent, basically said to Hungary, if you do that, um, we're going to change the rules entirely. Um, we're going to cut you off. We're going to do effectively the nuclear option. And um, as a result of that threat, which happened earlier, um, Hungary backed down and supported the aid package, and, and here we are with um, money now flowing again to Ukraine, which was vitally necessary. Well, Bill, you know Russia well. There's been talks that Ukraine, and for this for Putin, is just his first step before he would invade further if he had the chance. Do you believe this to be true? Some say yes. Some say that's not the case here. What's your take? Well, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is listen to um, Putin's own words. He has said it very explicitly. He's made threats to Poland, to Estonia, to other countries that, that border uh, Ukraine and border Russia that, that uh, if, um, and not even if, uh, is he, he's, he's looking at all this stuff. And, and, and why these other countries are so important is that they're members of NATO. And NATO is an organization where it's one for all and all for one. And we happen to belong to NATO. And so if, if let's say, Estonia, which is a tiny little country, gets invaded by Russia, um, uh, we have to go to war with Russia. And, and uh, that's why it's so important, because we would much rather have Ukraine do the fighting for us than us do the fighting ourselves. It's a lot better to send our money over there than, than to send troops to be killed over there. Well, Bill, uh, great analysis there. Uh, obviously a situation we're going to keep an eye on here. Bill Browder, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you.